Male Redditors. What hints have girls given you that flew over your head and you now deeply regret? What's your worst toe? She wasn't actually inviting me over for coffee at 2am moment. At the time her abusive ex-BF was banging her roommates. And she could hear them. So I offered to let her sleep at my place whenever he came over. I lent her my bed and she told me that there was a lot of room and I didn't have to sleep on the chair. I was kind of tired then. So I just slept on the bed beside her. She took off her clothes. I thought that was how she normally slept. So I didn't say anything. Turned my back towards her and went to sleep. She wasn't there in the morning. In your defense, it wasn't exactly the most romantic of setups. Incoming text, approximately, 1am, from, Vanessa, I'm home alone, come play video games, I cab down to her place and proceed to destroy her at Mario Kart, she's not even trying to win, I thought she wanted to play video games, eventually, she even admitted it, Richard yelled sir, I don't really want to play video games anymore, oh okay, she must be tired, time to go home. I cab down to her place and proceed to destroy her, comma at Mario Kart, you've got to be kidding me. As a woman reading this thread, I'm beginning to throw away my confidence in any smooth moves I may have had used. I'm feeling like the best thing to say is gonna be you're hot, let's bang. Had a tremendous moustache last month, girl in my edu, class tells me as we're leaving. You know, I've never kissed a guy with a moustache before. I say you know, neither have I. And then I walked away. What the heck man? You know, I know you didn't get laid, but that was still clever. Walked out of a club with a girl I'd been dancing with all night. She kissed me on the cheek and mentions that we should split a cab back to hers and save some money. Nah, it's too cold and it's like a 20 minute walk from yours to mine. I'll see you tomorrow though. I woke up the next morning with no hangover and the majority of the map on Civ 4. Well you'll always have Civ 4. I was in high school. She was a friend of mine. At her suggestion, we watched Debbie Does Dallas together. Just the two of us. She snuggled up against me on the couch, and I thought about how cool it was that we were mature enough to watch P and not have it be weird or anything. I went home shortly after the movie ended. For the rest of high school she was convinced I was gay because there was no way that I wouldn't have made a move on her otherwise. After another friend of mine explained what had happened to me, I thought I was gay. During my university years one of my classmates asked me if I wanted to study with her. I said sure and she told me to come by her place around 5 so we can study, have some dinner and study some more. Instead, I told her that it would be much easier to study in the library because we will have access to all the resources we may need. After graduation she told me she had a huge crush on me and that she spent a lot of time to build up the courage to invite me over. A few years ago I was working at my elementary school's annual spring fling. That day I volunteered to be the school mascot, a big butt bear costume, for the morning shift. It was a boring job of feeling like a peophile the whole time because little kids would hug you constantly and be all over you. They were just the perfect height for every kid's face to be just in your crotch. It was nearing noon and my shift was soon to be over when a girl my age, 17, Stole the bear head right from my own head and ran away with it. I wasn't gonna pay for a dang bear head if she didn't return it. So I ran after her and followed her into an empty classroom with the lights off and the shutters shut tightly. She said something like oh looky here, Mr. Papa Bear, I'm holding your head. I'm a bad girl I was pee she took it and wasn't thinking so I, being oblivious to her remark, took the head yelled the children need me and stormed out. TL. DR. Chick took my head off. I was pee and worried for the children. On the plus side, you weren't caught having sex in an elementary school. Her, it's too cold for you to sleep on the couch, come cuddle, in my drunk mind, cheap butt girl, won't turn the heater on. <laughs> when I was 15 a girl decided to grab my iPod and stuff it into her bra, and then told me I wasn't getting it back until I fished it out myself. As a socially awkward and stupid 15 year old I was mentally freaking out and told her she could borrow it instead. Man how I'm kicking myself now. My freshman year of high school a really cute girl snatched up one of my jolly ranchers and stuffed it in her mouth. 
and said I could take it back if I used my tongue I laughed and asked the teacher for a new one and her best friend slapped me on the back of the head. Back in college, I met a girl when she burst through my dorm door at the sound of my massive belch and screamed oh my god, that was awesome she was absolutely beautiful and turned out to be incredibly intelligent and fun. We hung out all year, helped her with her physics, gave massages, listened to her about her BF issues, the works. I never made a move and it never crossed my mind because I'm not the home wrecking type. Some time in the year they broke up. Here's a kicker. On more than a couple nights after that, she would show up at my dorm door in nothing but her towel just to say goodnight. And that's exactly what I'd say. Oh, goodnight as she leave I'd always think to myself and say god dang I wish I could have that. It took me a couple years to think back and realize how absolutely retarded I was not to see what she was doing. I haven't seen her since that year, but we're friends on FB. Every time I see her on there I kick myself just a little bit. Not just for missing a booty call, but for letting someone amazing like her slip out of my life. Send her a picture of you in a towel, and say just to say goodnight. Her. Do you mind if I sleep without my underwear? Yes she was already sleeping in the bed with me. Me. Haha. <laughs> Number went to sleep. In hindsight, I was a complete and utter freaking moron. When I told my friends about that, they almost hit me. They were mad for all men. Worldwide. Not only did I blow it completely, she was smoking hot too. I just couldn't get it in my head that such a babe wanted me. Oh, college. I imagine you going haha, number and you going to sleep with a big peaceful smile and she's just sitting there wondering what the frick she did wrong here. Not me personally, but my housemate accidentally turned down a very, very attractive Russian girl on his birthday, despite being given three chances. After a night out we left the two of them in the house alone while we went for pizza, both were drunk, him more than her. She asked how long do you think we have he responds I don't know. She says I think we've got a while he says I hope not, I'm hungry. We get back, eat pizza together, and she asks to see his room. He says no as he wants to stay and play cards. Then when she goes to leave I suggest he walks her home. She agrees but then he says it's not that far. She doesn't need walking I try to convince him otherwise but he's not having any of it. When she's finally left we're both sat in the kitchen talking and suddenly he realizes what he just did. He just stands up. Shouts for frick's sake and storms out of the room. He spent the next two weeks sulking about it. What a birthday. She says I think we've got a while he says I hope not. I'm hungry. This is a man who knows his priorities. 1. A group of guys and girls are horsing around the dorm common area. I'm giving one cute girl a piggyback ride. And she whispers in my ear why don't you give me a ride up to my room I answer guys aren't allowed on the girls floor and give her another ride around the room. 2. Working in a camera store when a really attractive woman my age, with the sexiest South African accent came in. I spent about 30 minutes trying to sell her a camera, and then she left. One of my co-workers came up to me and asked if I got her number and was meeting her later, and I was like no, why apparently she was sending out signals like she was a radio antenna. Everyone else in the store noticed, but I missed every single one of them. 3. The beautiful woman who had recently moved in next door knocked on my door and asked for a cup of sugar. I gave her a cup of sugar and sent her on her way. Fortunately the woman from number 3 was more persistent, and we've been happily married for 20 years. She says I still get women hitting on me, and I never notice. She likes that about me. Finally, a happy ending. Back in college, there was this girl who started as a friend, but over time, wanted to be more than a friend. Sadly, I was far too naive and insecure to pick up on her multiple hints. Here's one of the worst. We had been hanging out at a party at a friend's house for a couple of hours. The Leonid meteor shower was supposed to be pretty active that night, so she suggested that we drive out in the country and watch it together. I said okay, sounds cool, so we packed up and headed out. As we were driving, she said you know, some of your friends are starting to ask if I'm your girlfriend. Me. Oh really? That's interesting. We drove out to a dirt road in the middle of the nowhere, spread a sleeping bag out in the back of my truck, laid back, and watched the meet it or shower. Showed up at a girl's place. She knew I was coming over, 
didn't know when, and she answered the door in bra and panties. I got what I needed to get and left. I am an idiot. Poor girl. While I was in college, a girl that lived in a dorm two buildings down calls me up after just leaving my place and meeting me for the first time and says so do you want to come see my cat? What? You're not allowed to have pets. So essentially you rejected both of her pussies. I was once blatantly hit on by a gay guy for like 2 hours and when my friend and I left she looked at me and said you know he was trying to get with you, right I had no idea, I thought he was just being friendly. Been there, some gay guys have so much tact you never see it coming. I was in an editing booth with a girl, who is now a runway model, in college, she suddenly bursts out with I wish I was a S, because it would be so much fun to frick in this booth I just said good thing you are not a S then and kept working. You don't have to be a rest of frick in this booth. Boom, would have worked like a charm. Camping trip for a geology class. Comma I'm cold, can I get in your sleeping bag? It'll be warmer if you take off your damn clothes. Okay, I took off my clothes. Can I get in your sleeping bag now? No, I mean it will be warmer in your sleeping bag. Comma oh, screw it, I'm going to sleep. Freshman year I was chatting up two girls at a party. During the course of this rather long conversation, one of them started playing a little bit with the others. Quite large, chest, not massaging or anything, mind you, just making them bounce and such. I'd met both of these girls before the party and one of them lived in my dorm, so it never occurred to me that they'd actually be flirting with me. Towards the end of the evening, one of them looks at me and says, hey, Great day for Guinness. Her roommate, gesturing towards the other girl, is gone for the weekend and I'm spending the night in her room. You should come too. I politely excused myself, citing the fact that I had to wake up early the next morning. It took me longer than I care to admit to realize what I may have passed up on. Much regret has been had since. I am a woman and this made me sad. Went on a date with the most beautiful girl I ever went on a date with. It went really well. I had delved into her soul, really gotten her to open up, and made her laugh a lot. I got her to talking about paintings she makes but has never showed anyone, and made her promise to show me some time. I walked her home, and then she was standing on the first step of her stairs, facing me at eye level, smiling. Somehow, suddenly, I felt self-conscious. I got nervous, so instead of kissing her like she clearly wanted me to, I gave her hug thanked her for the pleasant evening, and walked away. I felt amazing. The date was over and I hadn't fricked it up. A few minutes later, I got a text from her. I should have invited you up, to show you my paintings. And, for the love of fricking god, I don't know how I managed to send this as my reply. Haha, <laughs> next time. There was no next time. She was probably really sad because that cute guy totally rejected her. Once I spent an entire night with a girl that I really liked from school. It was 24th of July, St. John's Day, which is celebrated with a big party in the streets of Barcelona. Towards the end of the night we were talking and she said she wasn't the kind of girl that made the first move, even when she really wanted to, due to her shyness. My answer? Yeah I'm also like that. It still eats me up a bit. I still really like her, but we went on separate ways. This is what happens when a stoppable force meets a movable object. I was in a club being drunk and happy, when a cute girl comes up to me and hands me a note. She stands there while I try to read it, but can't. Because of my drunken state, I decide to pretend like I read it, and look at her, smile and give her the thumbs up. She looks at me like, what's your problem and walks away. The next morning I find the note and it reads, you look cute, take me home. I hated myself for being so stupid, but when I was in the club, I just thought it was weird that some chick gave me a piece of paper, didn't even cross my mind that it was a proposition. BTW, not gay. Alright, stupid collider, let's see if you can beat this one. I'm out with three people, my best friend, his girlfriend, and a friends of hers. I'm completely oblivious that I got set up for a double date. The girl is beautiful. We get along. We end up at some party. It's fun for a while. The girl is chatting me up. Then we run out of things to say. Then we realize a couple left. 
I start to get uncomfortable. I don't know anyone at this party. After an awkward silence where we're both looking around the room, she turns to me, looks me in the eye and says the magic words. Let's get out of here. I happily oblige. We walk down the stairs and into the street. Alright, see you later I say to her, and proceed to get out of there. This sounds like a date I went on where I was the extra girl, but I'll one up you. The couple disappeared and left us alone, but the guy was so nervous he just kept drinking and ended up puking all over me. That was kinda a mood killer. Once upon a time I met a man at a Reddit meetup. I messaged him on Facebook and told him about a new restaurant by where I worked. Never heard of it they have really good and cheap bloody Marys. I don't like mixed drinks oh. Okay. Till. Then I read a post on Reddit that was Suru amazingly similar to this post and I realized he had no idea I was trying to ask him out for drinks. So I contacted him again on Facebook, clarified that I was no longer in a relationship, and we set up two dates. Got married in June. Oh thank you. Finally this should be an example. I used to hang out with this really cool chick. She was into PC games and such, and we had similar music tastes. Our personalities are scarily similar, too. We even share the same birthday. Anyways, I digress. She was over at my house once, and we were the only ones there, both in my bedroom. She was wearing a short skirt. I was showing her something on the computer, I think, and she lay down on my bed, in a skirt, and implied that I should come sit. Didn't even realize she had done it until a couple of years ago when we were having a conversation and she told me that she used to have a major thing for me and cited that situation. I was rather oblivious back then. <laughs> Laying on a bed with a girl I liked and her friend. Her friend rubs my back and asks if there is anything I wanted to do. I started playing Sonic 3. I should have played Sonic 1. I was hanging out with this girl who was a couple of years older than me and we were discussing relationships etc. Out of the blue this girl says, Karma Hunter, you are very mature for your age and you ought to look for women who are a couple of years older than you and sort of made eyes at me. Needless to say, hint was never taken and I still regret letting that go by. Turns out you weren't as mature as she thought lol. I actually picked up on a hint just the other day and was glad it didn't fly over my head. This girl told me to come over to look at her Christmas tree after she had just shown me a picture of it. Luckily I picked up on that hint. I could have very easily thought frick that, it's just a Christmas tree. I've seen plenty. I hope you decked her halls. Freshman year of college, first semester, I had a crush on a girl, who I later found out had a crush on me, and somehow ended up just the two of us in her room alone. Something I'm sure her roommate made sure of in retrospect. She invited me to sit next to her on her bed, and made jokes about how guys would offer to put their arm behind her so she'd more comfortable leaning against the wall. She grabbed my ARM and put IT around her. We talked for a few minutes and then I left. It wasn't till the summer when I realized how badly I fricked up. Her interest in me started waning shortly after that incident. Don't blame her. I would have thought I wasn't attracted to her, or gay, if I'd heard the story. TL. DR. Girl invites me into her bed, wraps her my arm around her, I talk about wireless spectrum for 10 minutes and leave. In your defense, wireless spectrum is a very important issue everyone should know about. <laughs> Sophomore year of college, walking nice, pretty girl home from class, he says come in, I'll show you around, I do, no one else home, downstairs nice and boring, now standing in the entrance hall again, she says. So, do you want to come upstairs and see my room what do I say? Do you want to know? Why would I want to see your room? I gotta go home. See you later. Oh for frick's sake man. The severity of your actions deserves caps lock response holy crap. When I was in high school this girl smelled my hoodie. I had taken it off and left it on the table. And said mmmmmm it smells like sex. To which I replied that's weird. I just washed it this morning. In my defense I was kinda occupied with having a crush on her friend. Intentional or not, that's a pretty funny response. Female here, we get it. Sometimes you guys just don't get IT. Recently had to text my guy, me in the bedroom, he in the living room of my one bedroom apartment. I'm naked, in bed, you should be here. Heard his phone go off. 
heard the phone hit the floor and he walked in naked. That's communication, guys. Would you like to come over for some coffee? Looks at watch. 2am. Why that is preposterous. How will I ever get to sleep? Coffee means sex. Jerry. I can honestly say that. At 31. I'm either still oblivious or women just aren't into me at all. There's this one girl who wants to sleep with me but not have sex. And yes. That's exactly what she wants. I've tried it. But has more issues than the New York Times. Don't stick your willy wonka in crazy bro. Better this way. Laughing at my dumb jokes is one hint that I always missed, but the largest was the subtle, gentle touches to an arm. Let's say after one of those dumb jokes, that I never picked up on either. I'm a girl, but a boy said make me a sandwich. So I made him a sandwich for the next time we hung out. When I produced my lunchbox to him with my sandwich inside he gave me a strange look and said I was joking, and never spoke to me ever again. TL. DR. Boy told me to make sandwich, I made him one and he rejected me, and my sandwich. This is heart wrenching. A female friend of mine texted me at like 12.30am the morning of her birthday asking if I was gonna come over to give her a birthday present. Being that I had just had an intramural basketball game, I wasn't really thinking straight. I freaked out thinking maybe I joked about getting her something and forgot. I scrounged around my house and found one of those cheap bottles of barefoot mascato, because girls love that crap. Went over to her house still covered in sweat wearing basketball apparel to give her the wine. When I get there found out that wasn't the package she wanted. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.